So, Major, I understand that you, you are actually graduated uh, uh, here from Davenport uh, West High School. Ninth class of 1982, Davenport West High. This dungeon right here, and I say that with all affection, is where I uh, got my uh, roots at training and, uh, and developing my, my body uh, to be physically fit. So, Major, uh, how does the training that you did today uh, relate to the emerging doctrine that the Army's developing? What we're trying to develop in the Army is uh, the sense of the soldier athlete, that we train for performance on the battlefield. And uh, before 9-11, we kind of practiced pushing and pulling on a linear plane and long, slow distance running. Now we're practicing on explosion, agility, speed, and more anaerobic stuff. So what we did today with a lot of the exercise mimic some of the things that we do on the modern battlefield in Iraq and Afghanistan in the mountains and the palm groves where we're climbing over walls, we're doing isometric kind of stuff, hanging our bodies off of railings and things like that, climbing, jerking, twisting, turning, jumping and things like that. So we had to change our mindset to develop the skills in our soldiers that we would be effective physically in the environment where we were chasing down the enemy, these terrorists in Iraq and Afghanistan. Sorry, Major, what's your current uh, duty, uh, your, your current duty station? I'm currently stationed at Fort Knox, Kentucky. I am the Command Sergeant Major, the Senior Enlisted Leader of U.S. Army Accessions Command, which means I'm responsible for every young man and woman that comes in the Army now, either through recruiting, through Reserve Officer Training Corps on college universities, and uh, officer candidate school. I'm also responsible for marketing and advertising the Army brand. So I bring America's Army to America people much in the way that we did in this event here at this convention. And I also have tools like the U.S. Army Parachute Team, the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit, and our U.S. Army Mission Support Battalion that has the, tractor, the Army tractor trailers and motorcycles and stuff that allows us to bring America's Army to America. Well, Sergeant Major, you've had a chance to see some of uh, Iowa's physical educators and some, some of the physical training uh, folks that came into our conference this year. How would you sum up the training, uh, their condition and, and their capacity for the Army training? Phenomenal. Uh, you know, uh, two months ago, I spoke at an officer candidate school graduation in Camp Dodge in Des Moines, Iowa at the Regional Training Institute. And that day, I took the candidates of that officer candidate school, which were going to end up being lieutenants, in the Iowa National Guard 2nd Brigade of the 34th Infantry Division, matter of fact, which is deployed to Afghanistan now. And I put them through a PT session, much like this here, and there was no putting any smoke on these young Iowa soldiers here. They were physically hard. And what I saw today uh, is parallel and, and is in line with what we're trying to do in the Army with how the Iowa educators are trying to get ch at childhood obesity and getting our younger men and women and boys and girls physically fit so that they can be more successful uh, as they move on uh, out of high school and college. We also heard that you spent time here as a high school student in the rest of the room in which you trained today. Have you been back since? Or I have not been back since. Yesterday was the first time in 28 years. I graduated in June of 82, joined the military in 28 years. I hadn't been back here, so when I pulled into the parking lot, I had goosebumps on my arms, and you know, when I came down in the wrestling room, I was waiting for Maury Barnhill and Eric Jobden to start putting the smoke on me because I hadn't cut enough weight or whatever. So, it really brought back great memories coming down here and training, and uh, I was just honored to be part of this whole event, and, and uh, you know, it's a pleasure to be here. The command sergeant major is the is the is the, the pinnacle of the enlisted corps, the highest ranking. Uh, Non-commissioned officer uh, rank is a uh, yes, sir. Sergeant major, did uh, how did you how did you get here? You, you must have been in a lot of places and seen a lot of things. Uh, in 28 years. Uh, I was a product of good leadership. First of all, I had great family values. My family raised me with great family values. Davenport West educated me and gave me the tools to go out in the, war, in the world. And the Army matured me and made me into the man I am today, a proud soldier, father and grandfather. And uh, I've served all over the world. I've served in combat five times. I parachuted into Panama City in the invasion of Panama to oust Manuel Noriega. I also was in Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and I spent three different times in Operation Iraqi Freedom, most recently two years ago during the surge into Iraq. So I've been around the world to a couple of county fairs in the Army. I've loved it the whole way, and uh, I've been serving 28 years, and I ain't about to give it up now. I love it that much. Well, you, you certainly uh, taught some of the younger fellows here a lesson about fitness. How often do you train? I train six days a week. I, in the military as a leader, 
Um, we, we, we have to lead by doing, not talking. And, and there's no other way that I lead other than by example. I may be 46 years old and getting on a little bit and, and gained a little bit more weight than when I was an 18 year old, but I will never ask these young men and women in the military to do something that I won't do first or show them how to do by leading by example. So I feel that the day that I can't come out here and do the things that these young soldiers can do, it's time for me to retire. And that day's not going to come anytime soon, though. I'm still kicking in and, and uh, having fun and, and just enjoying life. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Thank you, Dr. Thomas, and thanks to the whole team, to the whole Iowa Health, Physical Education, Recreation, and Dance Convention. It was a great opportunity. It was honored for me and my team to be here. Thank you very much, Army Strong. Hua. Hua.